Persona! Yeah, buddy. Uno momento. Not to break the immersion, but I do need to check something real quick. What's up, you guys? And welcome to the next episode of Persona 4 Golden on RT Online. Hello. And listen, some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness, too. Try stuff out and see what works. Man, make it to laugh, so let me be laugh. Okay. One second, poor for It is not recording. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> I just had to check it. I didn't have to break the immersion, but we're finally in our first battle. And, um, these things, analyses, I don't know what it's weak to, but we're just gonna go ahead and use Zeo to see if it's immune to electricity, which it's not. Later. Thanks, Teddy, you're the goat. You can check the known information about the enemy, the analysis command, or by pressing the analysis button. It's basically like your scan function in Paper Mario. Alright, and if you knock them all down, you can do an all-out attack, but it's just you it's just me, Narukami, so we don't get an all-out attack. So I'm just gonna hit him. Save my uh save my points. Later. And then we're just gonna knock him down. Yeah, last episode ended abruptly in the middle of that last cutscene, so I wanted to pick up right where we left off. And we're level two. There's Izanagi. And there he goes. Ha, ha, ha. Me, Narukami, has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona, Izanagi. Try it. You're troubling sensei. Sensei? Gosh almighty. You're amazing, sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? It ain't me. Wait, did he nod? I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Him sensei, and then don't show me any respect. Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? I'm like mad paying attention to the beginning part because, like, I remember it because I did re watch the anime or watch the anime, but like, this part of the game is like not fresh in my memory because I remember doing the whole beginning part and I got stuck on Yukiko's castle. And then I stopped playing the game for like months until one of my old friends helped me out with the game. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. That sounded like Chie. Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with a family's business suffering like it is? I heard that sales have gone downhill because of Chie. Have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. And we go inside. Little does Yosuke know. This is more about him than he realizes. Cause Saki's already dead, she can't be in here. Not again. You begin to hear a man yell. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the 
Money? Did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. It's a place of tiring, bro. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Yes. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. There he is, Shadow Yosuke. Yuri Lowenthal acting. I am you. I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop. Stop it. We're just trying to act like a big shot. Get ready for our first boss fight. Ah shit, here we fucking go, bro. It's Jiraiya! Jiraiya is definitely a wind persona. I'm guessing it's weak to Zio. I don't remember. I haven't fought this thing in a while. Wind of Oblivion. Later. I'm weak to wind, that's for sure. Da -da 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 last type 
During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage while defending attacks to your weakness and status ailment can be blocked. If it looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or about to hit you with a weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, for you will leave the defensive stance after being hit once. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's do it twice in a row this time. Make him a little stun. Check this shit out. What a bam! Oh, he didn't get stunned. <laughs> it, you were right. He guarded. It's guarding its weak point. Let me, uh, let me have pop a medicine real quick. Yummy. Oh! You gonna attack again? Oh, he's just laughing. Yeah, this boss is dummy easy. Later! One more time! Now what you gonna do? Ooh, power charge. Okay, definitely guarding now. Okay. I don't know why he didn't do a fucking wind attack, but whatever. Power charge is good for physical, I guess. Don't underestimate me. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. Oh shit, I should have listened to Teddy. You're getting to be Get out of my sight. That's okay. He's just gonna laugh maniacally. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. He's a nuggy! Ooh, a crit! Later! You're almost down. That's what you are. Ouchie, wowchie. Um, Zio. One more time. If he uses a wind move, I'm dead. Okay, but I killed him. Haha, <laughs> later! I'm good at video games. Ooh, Rakunda. I get that next level. Hey, yo, uh, I'll face myself? Good ass song. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. You're still yourself. Myself. Let's debase yourself. I knew it wasn't live. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You know me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The Persona Jiraiya. Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass. Huh. What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks, me. <laughs> yeah, you sure did face yourself. <laughs> 
But I was also here. I am me. You are you. Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Aha! Foreshadowing! Teddy knew his answer all along. what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it. And the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. Later. Yeah, let's uh, let's stop worrying Chie Chan so much, bro. We need to get back. Place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before, but that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. It was the same for them? The fog does lift here sometimes. get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog went in. So let's get this straight. The senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow came out. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I came here until the fog cleared, we would have been in much deeper trouble? You would have been with me, though. Pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. You were stuck. Sensei and me? You just said Sensei twice. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Disappeared when the fog lifted. Laugh! They were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? And that's the plot of the game. Like, uh, we won't know unless we try. That seems to be the case. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. We need to make him squeal. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? A human, probably. You know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself, to be honest. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Oh, oh excuse me. Of course. Really? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time. So the Juness store. The TV at Juness. Teddy's so awesome, man. I love Teddy. I don't know why people hate Teddy so much, bro. He's an awesome character, and he's funny. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squeeze. <laughs> hey, stop squeezing, you little... Whoa! Chie, we're back. Chie, don't cry, we're back. <clears throat> you gotta, you gotta get back! Huh? Chie? Whoa, 
Ow, what's with that face? How are we supposed to know? Let's apologize to her tomorrow. We're completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. He's gonna cry a lot. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. After crying for like 30 minutes. Well, see you in the morning. Later. Near the floodplain while walking home from Juness. It's Yukiko. Mm -hmm. I don't remember this part. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? I like it here. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. Trust me, this is New Game Plus. I know everything about Inaba. So I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... We're getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Chie is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. Yukiko cutting class. A what? Our in can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. Later. The evening time. Nanako Chuan. We know. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Yukiko is on TV wearing a kimono. She's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Uh, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must Bro, shut up. You're on TV. We caught you in 4K, bro. You're creeping on a high schooler, bro. The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. True. Oh, I need to do the dishes. Oh, I got it. You decided to help out with the housework. You can now check your status by commencing the the, the, the by pressing the commands button. Um, let me just save on four, just in case the game decides to fucking crash again. It's raining tonight, something may appear on the TV, so, uh, 
By process of events, if you were paying close enough attention, you may know who's going to appear on the Midnight Channel tonight. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? Oh, I gotta turn my TV off. Now the time is midnight, so I turn off the TV, and then the TV comes back on. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Oh my god. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. I forgot, I don't have Yosuke's number yet. I can't talk to my investigation buddy. Oh, the Velvet Room. This is... Welcome. I have summoned you within your dream. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only Margaret? those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Velvet key. This night four, you, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny <laughs> will require you to hone your power. And for power. That, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Seems easy enough. I understand. Very well. The persona. You have acquired it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life your persona ability however is that of the wild card compared to that of others it is very special it is like the number zero empty yet holding infinite potential Within itself. Just like me. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually... Oh, the most important part of the game, social links! Of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. I get it. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. <laughs> Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, for sure. Where's Marie, bro? All right, take it easy. April 16th. Yo. <laughs> Yo, Skay. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Maybe Teddy could sense if somebody's been thrown in there. There really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. I agree. The police can do it. Who believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Um, let's bring an end to this. Yeah, I agree. 
I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did. It actually worked. Because he has a persona. I think I could do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. From Lord Jesus Christ. You managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do <laughs> Sorry, I had to yawn. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. You mean me and Yosuke. There's our first social link! The first one we're gonna max out. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the magician Arcana. All because we held hands. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. Is the power to control one's own heart. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own the power. Yeah, we just saw that. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the, of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up and knock down ally during battle. Loading. Where's Chie, bro? There she is. Yesterday, we're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Yukiko san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man. What should we do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? For real? All that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. We were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. The kimono was like the one... Dee -dee 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 -dee. Scary music by Kevin McLeod. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. You get the picture. You still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Call her on the P phone. Inside that place. Let's go to Judas. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Let's go to Judas. Now. Or she might be helping at the end. She would be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. The flip phones and emails. Oh, how it takes me back. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the end tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko son inside that place? <laughs> But there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. You might want to see what this is about. Alright, let's meet up at Juness after school. 
Every day is great and your June is. He explained to Chie in detail about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that teddy dog? I got it. Come here a second. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chien, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? You tried beckoning Teddy over, and and he bit my hand. What's wrong? Not so loud, you idiot! Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's like the anime. <laughs> so there's no one inside? You're sure? Uh, I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Good idea. busy this weekend helping out at the inn. I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. But still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? We'll pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's midnight channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. There must be. There must be. Ha, ha. Misunderstanding. Yo, we got our numbers. We exchanged cell numbers with Yosuke. Our social link is probably going to level up from this, right? 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 Damn it. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. We held hands, we got, uh, was it really Yukiko who appeared on TV last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight to find out. Later! So we held hands with Yosuke and established our social link, but we exchanged numbers and we don't even level up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. Adachi? We got nothing that points directly to a suspect. <laughs> we don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. You seem to know a little too much, Adachi. I don't know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first thing. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell is going on? That's a good question. No, I thought at first this all spun out of that love trap. That singer, Suzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public is because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murdered her. What about Taro Namatame? Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamanoi died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Kanishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide it. It's like they were meant to be found. 
It's his calling card. That she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way. All we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. There has to be someone in the Well, oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <laughs> I like Adachi. Voiced by Johnny Young Bosch, who also voices uh, me, Narukami. Hi, Nanako. I'm gonna save my game real quick. We'll put it on uh, slot four. We have all these slots, might as well use them. I'm gonna check the midnight channel again. Probably gonna be a clearer picture of Yukiko since it's raining for the second day. And this time I have Yosuke's number. I don't have Chie's though. <clears throat> Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I can prepare. Please stop, she is a child. I forgot about that shot, bro. What the fuck? They did it to Rize too, bro. They do shots like that to Rize all the time. It's not okay. Uh, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> That's not okay, bro. Atlas, what the flip, bro? It definitely was Yukiko. I mean, she called herself Princess Yukiko, so I can deduce that much. Right? The stuff she was saying sound weird, but she looked like she was on some low budget TV show. Was it like this before too? What's going on? Uh try to contact Yukiko? Yeah, I know. Oh crap, I don't know her number. Oh yeah, I can just call Chie. Wait, so y Yosuke has Chie's number? Why does Yosuke have Chie's number and I don't? You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decided to go to bed early tonight. It's not early, it's midnight, bro. You have school in like six hours. You're a growing boy, you need more sleep, me. Not a good morning. It seems that only Nanako is here. Uh. You're up early today. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. He True. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. She's a good housewife. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? I sure was. Dot, 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 You decided to go out. What's up, Yosuke? I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Bro, we're in public. Look at that girl in the background. <laughs> I remember this part. Uh, the katana's mine, bro. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me, wait, maybe both would be good too. Kind of like this, or like this. What about this? Uh, of course. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. 
guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Welcome to Columbine Part 2. Listen to your story at the station. Here's where I can see them, too. I said now! Uh, but uh, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You were taken to the police station under suspicion. Great! We did it! We got arrested! That's gonna be on our criminal record. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. But lucky I was around. Well, this would have ended up on your permanent record. Permanent record! Your weapons have been confiscated. So the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. But she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he see Amagi? She really is. Hmm? Who's what, Matt? <laughs> huh? Could you repeat it? I'm very old. I've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Yes, sir. Pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh. Um, I to say. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying we couldn't find her. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy. No one saw Miss Amagi around it. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did you say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamina was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's leaning low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You sure did, bro! I already forgot. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... There you are! Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did this. Where are her parents, bro? Aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Who's the victim here, damn it? Not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Right. That's the important thing. If the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? I know just the place. The blacksmith? Here we are. What kind of 
is shop business. Uh, metal works, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? It's literally in the shopping district. Too many kung fu movies. It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. I'm praying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Uh... Oh, all right. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen. I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. Alright. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. He received 5,000 yen from Yosuke. Cha-ching! You, you know, if we wear this stuff, but it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack. Why not just steal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay. That's a detail I forgot. They always go into Juness equipped with stuff, but they just put it under their uniforms to go in. Okay. Around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Wait, can I buy stuff? There we go. Ah, go to that shop music. Have you come to see my art? Please take a look around and take your time. La da da di do di do di da do ya di da 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 di do. Triumph. Yes. Yes. And then Yosuke. Yes. Yes. Buy armor for me. Dude, I am stacked already. Yeah, I like that. That's a little better. Okay. Um. La. Increases luck, resistance, max HP. I'll give that to you, or to me, and then Yosuke can have, uh, let's see, yeah, let's do land badge, fuck it, alright, and that's all I'm buying, maybe. Okay, never mind, I don't have shit. Later! Alright, to Juness we go. After this cutscene, I suppose. The Velvet Room! There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. The voices, they never stop! If you give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. <laughs> is that a velvet key in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Happy to see me? Wow, that was a layered joke. We have been expecting you. Marie! The catastrophe that has headed your way. 
It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. I am me. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. I am aware of this, but thank you, Margaret, for reiterating. I love you. Oh, he's talking about Persona Fusion. Yeah. I'll explain this later on. I want to get to Yukiko's castle. Seems that when a Persona of a Magician Arcana is fused, that Persona will gain more power. Yep, indeed. It's the Persona Compendium. I have so many in my Persona Compendium! Marie! Marie? Yo! Nice to meet you. The girl seems unfriendly. You see if you feel like you met her somewhere before. I've met you somewhere. Huh? Oh. Maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. I am me. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. So abrasive. Please understand, she's only an apprentice. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. Oh, I will. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Later. Yo, goaded song. What's up, Shiroku? Oh, I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, that should be good for Yukiko's castle. Yeah! Your affection! I wonder if I can go to the shrine. Ding da 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 da. No job openings, okay. So maybe I can't do the shrine thing yet. I'm gonna try and get the uh, the fox social link for you Persona fans. You probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, maybe I can't do it yet. It's where you get your side quests too. The day. Such a good song. Really stick out. I guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to. I'm going. Let Chie go, bro. Don't push yourself. Got it. And we're in the TV world. I don't know how long of this episode is so far, but I think I could beat Yukiko's dungeon on my first try. Oh, it really is that bear from last time. What are you doing? 
can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. Seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. Over it for a long time. <laughs> that was a bit of a stretch. That wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Can you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Something came in the mail today. There's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss? Uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. Scary music by Kevin McLeod. It absolutely is. That no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. People on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I've never seen this program thingy before. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Possibly? The first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, uh, that's not like her at all. It's because it's her shadow. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? It's exactly like that. There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all. Do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud? <laughs> Yukiko's here. I'm going they never answer Teddy. They never answer him, bro. Jeez, you better follow her. Got it. Later. Can I save? All right, we're going to go in. We're doing this day one, bro. Ooh, revival beads. Nice. Peach seeds and soul drops. Sweet. All right, Teddy is really getting us prepared. Oh, look at my sword. That looks sick. That's the sword called Triumph. All right, we're going to try not to skip that many battle encounters. But uh, if we find the stairs, we'll go up them. Hello. That's a big-ass shadow. Wow. Okay. Revival beads, sweet. I'll take it. Okay. Well, not a good first battle to start with. Um, I think this thing is wind or something. Probably wind. Time to make history, guys. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta sit. Ah, oh, okay. I gotta do that. Yosuke's on auto battle right now. I forgot I need to change that. You see mysterious cards before your eyes. I know all this. Okay. Um, just to avoid encounters. Yeah. That way we can get into the next battle without getting attacked from behind. I'm already leveled up again. 
Yeah, all right, and I got Rakunda. Tarukaja's next. That's good. Tarukaja's very good. Uh, let me press Y. Status. Yosuke. I don't think this is where I do it. Maybe... Oh, I have to do it in battle, I think. Um, is it equipped? Okay, yeah, next battle, I'll, I'll, I'll remember to change it for Yosuke. Okay, we have Void encounters on, so I'll just go behind him and BAM! Yeah, these things... Okay, uh, let me see. Tactics, and then direct commands. And now we will attack. Nice. Physical moves take HP away, whereas magic attacks like Garu and Zeo take away SP. Later. So if you knock somebody down with a critical or you hit them with their weakness, you get another turn with that character. And if all of the enemies are knocked down, you get an all-out attack, which is a free damaging move. It attacks everybody that's down, but it also gets them right back up as soon as you do an all-out attack. So it's optional. If you don't want them to get right back up, then that's up to you. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go up these stairs. I know I should have looked at the whole floor, but I'm getting a phone call right now. And I don't know how to mute my mic. So I'm just going to let it ring. Chie, are you all right? Chie? She's like a fabulous girl. Yukiko-san? Be with my name. Sounds in her thoughts. I remember hearing Saki senpais too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? She was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong. She can do anything. She does everything that I don't. Who did she have? Boring. She had protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke. What? Yo, Shadow Chie! I mean, you're not wrong. I never thought that. What are we going to do? We need to protect Chie. That's what I said, Teddy. No, don't come near me. Don't look at me. Chie, calm down. No, no, this isn't me. Wait, stupid. Don't say anything else like that. Yeah, 
Here's our second boss fight. Later. It's Tomoe. I'll face myself. Such a good ass fucking boss song, bro. Chie's ice. I don't remember this boss fight being that hard, though. Let me see. Yeah, we'll, we'll debuff. Huh, physically bash you. Oh yeah, resist it, because Tomoe's physical. It's good to learn the weaknesses, though. Uh, let's try Zeo. All right, and then Garu. All right, all out attack. It's weird seeing only two. Bottomless Envy. Oh, that's no damage, but I'm dizzy. Or Yosuke's dizzy. Uh, he should be fine. Oh yeah, no, 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 you resist that. Increases allies' defense. There we go. Wind resistance increased. Nice. My SP is kind of low. All right, while the wind resistance is up, we'll use a uh, soul drop. <laughs> it's weird hearing Chie cuss. My bufu, my bufu, these nuts. All right, later. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do another soul. No. Yeah, soul drop on my turn. I know you still resist it, but I'm still going to attack. Because that's... Sh yeah, wind resistance reverted. Mazio. Huh? That's not okay. That was intense. You okay? Go. Yosuke. No, not the green wall again. I'm pissed now. You should be. My boo for these nuts! Woo! Okay. Uh, Garu! <laughs> doing, like, no damage to me, bro. Our defense is so high because of the items that we bought. Your defense is down, this should do more damage. Yeah, that does a good amount. Um, let's try doing Bash. Yeah, almost dead. Alright, Wind Resistance is reverted. Mazio! No! Shit. Okay. I can finish this off. Easy peasy. Level 5. And Yosuke's Jiraiya leveled up. 
We get Sakukaja level 6. I'll explain what that does later on, but uh, Chie's got to face herself really quick, and then we'll end the episode. Chie, are you okay? Oh. What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. But... You're... Everyone has different faces. Everyone? He's right. I went through the same thing, so I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah, I get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forget, that I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. And now Chie's persona has awakened Tomoe. Take a break. All right, let's get back to the entrance, though. It's dangerous around here. I never no, it's a good place to end the episode, Chie. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. True. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I, uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings. Then I have to tell her something. Not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together. I was able to act that way. If you were... You need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? Why? Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer in Senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean they were killed by their other selves? Something like that. The fog usually appears after it rains, but it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. We're going to finish this dungeon. We'll check the weather forecast in the next episode. But, but I can't turn back now. We've come so far. Yukiko's still here. She's all alone. She must be so scared. Then you tell me how much further we got to go to reach Yukiko-san. You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san now? We can't fail, no matter what. Am I wrong? We can, dude. It's New Game Plus. We're too strong. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. Let's go together next time. No worries. We're definitely going to save Yukiko-san. Right? Right. In the next episode. <laughs> I, uh, I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. It's thanks to these. That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. <laughs> Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice 
until now? How panicked were you? Tam tadam! I got a pair ready for Chie Chan too. Here you go. Ow. you whip those out earlier if you had them? I need them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so sad. I'm sad. Sad. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? So show. We'll have to stop here. Today. But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me. Got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. You're right. Yeah, I agree. I promise to. Let's save Yukiko. In the next episode. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? Not at all, boy! And you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. Leave it to me. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm the Kyosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I feel a lot more comfortable about this. How sweet of you. I'm the Kyosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? <laughs> <laughs> You've been unanimously appointed team leader. Your days of pursuing this case alongside your friends have begun. A new social link has been established. It is time for the investigation team arcana. Thou art I, and I am ow, ow, ow. Personas of the fool arcana, ow, ow, ow. Later. Okay. Let's get some rest for today, and don't forget to check the weather forecast. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. Got you. I'll buy stuff for Chie. You decide to return to Juness and go back home. Evening. The three of you are having dinner. The news is on TV. That's all for world news tonight. Dojima is quiet with a stern expression on his face. You aren't getting in. What happened to the stick? Is there? I see. Well, it's just been nagging. Oh, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No. This isn't the police station. Got it. And due to high pressure front. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? <laughs> when she says it'll be sunny. Uh <laughs> never mind. Alright guys, thank you for tuning into this episode of Persona 4 Golden, our RFT Online. Next episode, we're going to finish up Yukiko's castle and add Yukiko to our party of the investigation team. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time on ride time. I will see you all next time.